Well, that was a bit of a climb. Well, not really, <laughs> but hey everyone. It is Monday, May 15th. The time right now is 5.22 p.m. and the temperature is around 23 degrees Celsius. And that was St. Andrew's Station I just climbed out of. And this will be the intersection of University and King. And that's a look to the east along King into the financial district. And here on the west side is the entertainment district. I'm just going to throw my sunglasses on. Here we go, looking nice and dorky for the walk. And for this one, I'm gonna make my way down to Wellington Street. I'll be walking west along Wellington. I'll be heading over towards Strawn Avenue. And the reason for that is I wanna check out the construction progress of the new bikeway they're installing. It's a two-way bikeway. It's not supposed to be completed until sometime in June or July. There's a pretty iconic view with the CN Tower looming over Roy Thompson Hall. So I'll cross over and cut through David Pico Square, which is just on the other side of the street. And hopefully this nice weather is here to stay. I'll definitely be back to record a walk along King Street here. Free Bible course. Can't say that tickles my fancy. Oh, there is Brendan Fraser right next to Paul Schaefer on the Canada Walk of Fame. Jill Hennessy. But from the somewhat busy and lively King Street down to Wellesley, or rather <laughs> Wellington Street, it'll be. And the other day I went for a walk along Davenport Road. I pointed out one of the ugliest buildings in the city. Well, here's another candidate for the ugliest building, Metro Hall. Another very suburban office park inspired monstrosity. I don't know if that's the right word, but it's certainly terrible. Cue the comments of people saying they like it. Everyone's entitled to their opinion. I just think it's disgusting. But I absolutely love this building, Roy Thompson Hall. There's a first Canadian place looming in the background, the tall white building. And that is the Ritz Carlton. I did a video through there last year.
I don't know the story behind this flame. The eternal flame of hope. That's been here since May 27, 1996, courtesy of the Eaton Foundation and the Canadian Foundation for Physically Disabled Persons. There's a Yankee fan and a Blue Jay fan going to the game. The Yankees are in town for a series. The Jays have been alternating, getting swept and sweeping for the last four series. Hopefully they break that pattern and break through versus the Yankees. Who just had a pretty good series versus the Rays. And I've made it almost down to Wellington Street. This is Wellington here. It starts to the east of here, right at Church Street. And it's a one-way street for that portion. That's the back side of the CBC building right there. And you'll notice there are no bike lanes on the stretch of Wellington. Bikeway is being installed between, I think, Blue Jays Way and Strawn Avenue, and then it'll continue west of Strawn on Doro Street and head up to Shaw. So this is John Street. I told Daniel about it. Yeah, and you can see the sky dome in this shot. There's bound to be a number of Yankee fans in town in the next few days, although a lot more if they're here on the weekend. And this area, just to the south of here, used to be Parking Lot Central. It's been getting filled in with new buildings. So the next street is Blue Jays Way. I believe there's been some work to the water main on the street and that's coinciding with the installation of the bike lanes. Or rather the upgrading of the bike lanes from a painted gutter to a proper bikeway, which is a two-way bike lane. You notice for this stretch, Wellington is a one-way street. So I'll definitely be back once it's installed, and I'll probably do a bike or a scooter ride on it. But I thought it might be neat to check out some of the early progress, as well as give me an excuse to come down to this area and record. So here is Blue Jays Way.
Although north of King, it is Peter Street. There's some classic Toronto driving. Those cars had no chance of <laughs> clearing the intersection. So I'm not sure which side of the street the bikeway will be on. This is probably work on the water main here. Wellin this is Wellington, yeah. This is. This is. Yeah, where are you going? I'm going to. 425 Wellington Street West. You know which way that is? Here. I don't know if it's 425. Oh, you're not too far. Yeah, you keep going that way. You have to cross the park. And then you have to cross Spadina. Okay. It's, it's confusing because it's not just one street, but just walk through the park and keep going. Thank you. No problem. I don't think I led him astray. I knew that Wellington can be a bit confusing in this direction. That's why I just stopped to clarify where he was going. And this here is Clarence Square. I think these homes up here can date back to the 1800s, the late 1800s. This is a relatively quiet and shady small park with a dog park over there. There's a lot of large trees and spacious grassy terrain. No, I'm not just reading that off of the Clarence Square Wikipedia entry. It also <laughs> says there's several benches and picnic tables scattered throughout and a drinking fountain in the center. Thanks, Wikipedia. I just one-handed <laughs> looked that up while I was talking to that guy. I had my phone out anyways. Well, the fountain in the middle is under repair. So here's Spadina. This is what I meant when I told him he'd have to cut through the park. Got the street closed. So, if I were to hazard a guess, hazard a guess, is that English? Well, I think this here is where the bikeway will be installed. And once they're done resurfacing the road and have the water main all replaced or repaired, whatever they're doing, I imagine they'll be able to open this. It's 
so I guess it's local traffic only at the moment. These buildings over here are all part of a massive new development called The Well. This area is definitely transforming. It says that a lot of the intersections, there'll be intersection improvements, including curb rail reductions, accessibility upgrades, new bicycle signals, and special treatment at the intersection of Wellington and Spadina. So that's where we just were. I'm not normally a fan of the way new condos meet the street. But I'm curious to see how these turn out once all is said and done. I think the brick look is rather promising. They kind of fit the rest of the area. It's certainly much nicer than that all glass look. I think the well in general is one of the higher quality developments. Do a select bistro. Well, look at that. There's going to be a no problem. Sorry. No worries. There's going to be a summer beer garden there. I didn't think someone would be using this, but I looked saw him, and right when I did, he was well away. Rang his bell, jumped out of the way, apologized because he is absolutely in the right. <laughs> Getting an early jump on that bikeway. And I'm breaking one of my old rules when I first started this channel. walking west in the afternoon towards the sun. My original camera couldn't handle this very well. It would just be Glare City. And across the street over there is Draper Street, one of the most unique residential streets you'll find downtown. There's a lot of really old homes. It's kind of reminiscent of Cabbage Town. Whatever they pay these guys to be out here working in this, it's probably not enough. And here is Portland Street, so we have the Garment District. Two minutes up on King Street West. And canoe landing to the left. The 
This is an area dubbed the Fashion District. And specifically, this is Victoria Memorial Square. It's a public park and believe it or not, a former cemetery. It was established back in 1793. It's the first cemetery to be used by European settlers in the city. I think it could use a bit of a grander centerpiece. Centerpiece is a monument. It was originally known as St. John's Square and was part of the Fort York Historic Site. It's an old fort. Just to the southwest of here that was used to defend the area from the invading Americans. And look at that, the once almost clear view of the CN Tower has almost disappeared. There's a Union Jack flap, flag <laughs> flapping around. Well, it looks like the bikeway is now on this side of the street. And this is Bathurst Street coming up. Once I cross Bathurst, I'll be out of downtown. Close again, straight ahead. And I just missed the light cycle. Don't. There's a look south down Bathurst Street. And there's someone wearing a pretty hot jacket. It is 23 or 24 degrees Celsius. It's always interesting seeing what people wear in weather like this. This guy gets a free pass, he's on a bike.
This is Dust City. I just wanted to flip my shades back down. There's a mural for Our Lady Peace, Spiritual Machines too. I didn't even know there was a Spiritual Machines 1. Uh, Wellington Street continues here. Over to Strawn. King Street just to the north. I'm guessing the bikeway will be on this side. So this walk will be fairly quiet from here on out, although I'll be walking past Stanley Park and the Garrison Crossing. This should be Niagara Street coming up. A street that curls south of here and it runs into Bathurst. This place closed up. And you know what? I think we've got the gist of what construction is like along Wellington. Maybe I'll cut through Stanley Park and we'll take that north up to King Street West. And I might do a live stream recording south through the park and the Garrison Crossing. I have my stuff with me.
wonder if there's softball going on. I used to play in an insurance league softball league, insurance league softball league. <laughs> We would play out of Stanley Park sometimes. It's the park where I broke my finger and it didn't heal straight. But there's the Garrison Crossing just over there. A bit of people queuing up for the tennis courts. There's normally a 30 minute period. It goes on the honor system. I remember going to one of these courts once with my buddy and the people in front of us were just telling us just another minute, just another minute and they ended up stretching out to like 20 more minutes. It was hard not to call them assholes <laughs> when they finally smiled and said, it's all yours. Because of course that made the people behind us wait even longer. And we didn't want to be jerk faces like them. And Stanley Park continues. on the north side of King Street here. runs up to Adelaide Street, but you know what? I think this will be all she wrote, folks. I hope you enjoyed this walk. Starting at St. Andrew Station, mostly along Wellington Street, checking out the new bikeway construction. I'll be getting on my bike or e-scooter once that's done and walking over to Stanley Park. I'm actually gonna go south back into the park when there's a break in traffic. Let me know your thoughts and comments down below. If you wish to support the channel, there's links to my Patreon and YouTube channel membership down in the description. I have an Instagram account at Johnny Strides. And there is a super thanks button appearing below the videos if you wish to say thanks that way. Anywho, <laughs> thanks for watching and I will catch you in the next one. Yoink.